Hello everybody, this is my full video on how to fix SteamVR error code 475. Okay, some basic things. Ensure all the cables are properly connected, including your USB, your power, or anything like that. Um, and you want to examine, examine the cables for any signs of physical damage and replace any cables that are worn. Uh, or damaged and you also want to maybe try to use different USB ports not every USB port is created equally uh, some of them are 3.0 and some of them are not my PC for example uh, has some USB ports that cannot support Steam VR so uh, if you're having trouble that's the first thing I would recommend checking Okay, after you've done that and you're sure that the hardware is not the reason for the error, you want to restart Steam VR and restart your PC and try it again, of course. After you've done that, you want to try to update drivers. I'm not going to go too deep into how to do that, but use a, a NVIDIA app, go to drivers and install the newest drivers to see if that fixes your issue. Okay, now in Steam, uh, go to Steam, go to Library, go to Steam VR, right click on this, go to Properties, and you'll see a tab called Updates. On the Select Down menu, uh, click on Immediately Download Updates to Immediately Download Updates. Okay, now let's go into a couple of different solutions within Steam VR. So you want to launch Steam VR on your PC. And what we're going to do is remove all Steam VR USB devices and to make sure that there are no issues. So click on the three little lines here. Go down to developer and go down to developer settings. From this page, scroll down and you'll see a thing called remove all Steam VR USB devices. Click on that. Now, once you've done that, you want to physically unhook your Steam VR. Uh, I'm sorry, your VR headset from your computer and then uh, wait 30 seconds and then reconnect it to your PC and wait for it to install the drivers automatically and see if that fixes the issue. Now, if that still hasn't fi fixed the issue, you might want to uh, disable power management uh, for Windows. Um, that's if you are experiencing a loss of tracking or you might want to from here click on restart steam vr however what you definitely want to do from this page you'll see something called direct display mode you want to enable direct display mode what is direct display mode so this basically tells steam vr that the headset is an input for steam vr and not an external monitor so this will uh, solve a lot of issues possibly moving forward so you want to enable this you want to make sure that this is enabled in the options and then once you have done that you want to try it once again to see if you're getting the same issue okay now close steam vr and i'm assuming the issue is still continuing if it is go back to steam right click on steam vr click on properties from here, go to installed files. And from here, uh, go to verify integrity of game files. Now you want to uh, check for, make sure that your Steam VR headset, uh, including batteries or base station, and uh, check that they're adequately charged. In your VR headset software, so this is different for every VR headset, but make sure that the power management settings and disable any features that might put the components to sleep. So this error is um, is connected to power settings within the VR headset. Make sure your PC or your VR are not overheating. Uh, this could cause the th uh, hardware to throttle or shut down. So you might want to clean dust or improve ventilation from the physical hardware. If you're using a system like Vive with base stations, ensure that they're powered on, that they're properly positioned, and they're not obstructed, and check for any error lights. You also want to check for firmware updates within the software. Um, also, you want to check for updates for the USB thing, so go to U Device Manager. 
This will change depending on which VR headset you are using, but it might be under human interface devices. It might be a USB input device. Either way, uh, this is the same. Uh, you want to right click on this, go to update driver and see if this fixes the issue. Okay, the next thing you want to do is run Steam VR in compatibility mode. So you want to go to uh, your file explorer on the very left and you'll go down to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Steam VR, Bin, and here you will see Win32 and Win64. Of course, if you're on a Windows 64 bit uh, system, you want to click on Win64. If you are, are not, uh, you want to click on Win32. So go to Win64. And from here, you want to scroll down until you see a file called vrserver.exe. Once you find this file, you want to right click on it, go to properties. Here, this will come up. You want to click on compatibility mode. And here you'll see compatibility mode. And you want to run this program in compatibility mode, even if you're not on an older version of Windows. Um, but especially if you are, uh, give this a try. This seems to fix a lot of people's issues with the game. Okay, now you want to make sure that Steam VR is not blocked by your firewall. So you want to go to settings. And here on the left hand side, you see network and internet. Now this is the uh, internet that you are currently using. I'm currently using an ethernet cable to connect to the internet. So this comes up as ethernet, but you click on ethernet and by default, it says public network slash recommended. You want to click on private network, save the settings and see if this fixes the issue. Now, if this still hasn't fixed the issue, but what you might want to try, go back to Steam, uh, oh, go to library, go to Steam VR, click on properties, go to install, uh, go to betas. And for example, if this used to work, but it doesn't work from here, you can uh, roll back to a previous release of Steam VR. Um, you might want to try it anyway to rule out any kind of issues with the, uh, uh, with the software. And uh, you might want to try the newest version, the newest beta of Steam VR, to see if that fixes the issue. Okay, now that you've done that, you might want to turn off uh, antivirus to see if that's also messing it up. So how do you do that? You go to search, you go to Windows Security. And from here, you're gonna see virus and threat protection. Click on that, scroll down, you'll see virus and threat protection settings. Click on manage settings. And here you'll see real time protection. Click on that, it will ask you to make sure you wanna change, uh, make changes, say yes. Uh, I do not recommend turning this off, but I would recommend turning this off just to see if this fixes the issue. Okay, the next thing you want to do is uh, go into your processes and shut down any kind of anti-cheat software, especially anti-cheat software connected to uh, Valorant, Marvel Rivals, or, uh, or Counter-Strike or things like that. Uh, oftentimes this will start when Steam starts and this will often uh, interfere with Steam VR. So you want to make sure that this is off. Okay. The last step is to go into system configuration here and uh, you'll see a tab saying services. What you want to do is click on hide all services, then click on disable all. And then you want to go back into your task manager, go to startup apps and basically uh, disable all the apps and uh, you want to sort by startup impact and disable all the apps that are not necessary, for example, these, and see if that fixes the issue. Okay, if this helped you, please leave the video a like and please subscribe. If it didn't help you, leave the video a comment and I will do my best to get back to you.